Let's make some free intros for YouTube. What's up guys, TJ here with another TJ's tutorial video. If you like these types of videos, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell icon. I really appreciate it. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to make free intros for your YouTube channel. It's super simple uh, to make a... Um, an intro and I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to do a screen video showing you how to do that and we'll do it right now. Alright guys, I'm going to show you how to create these. Now, of course, this is the free way to do it. I do have some more complex um, intros that I can show you how to do and I'll show you at the end of this video uh, what I'm talking about and if you want to see how to do those, just put a link or a link, put a comment in the comment section below Tell me that. All right, so this website is called panzoid.com, P-A-N-Z-O-I-D.com. I'm not sure if you've heard of it before, or maybe you've heard of it before, but you didn't really know how to edit the um, intros here. But what, what I normally do is I go and click on uh, more, and they have a bunch of intros that they already have, you know, made up. Um, so I'm going to click on one. I'm going to click on a couple of them, actually. I'm going to click on that one, because that one looks like it may be cool. Uh, let's look at that one because it may be cool. What is this? Let's click on that one. All right, so I got four of them open. This is how I always do it. I open up four or five of them, and I go through and look at them and see if they are worth my time. So let's click on this, open in Clip Maker. Now, I will tell you, when you click on this, it is going to open a new tab. Um, and, you know, if you start clicking on these right here, you're going to kind of lose your place so always click out of this or and you can't open these up and you can't like right click and say open in a new thing you have to click on that and this this, this page right here is going to be uh, gone so anyway so right now you don't know what you're looking I'm just gonna push play and show you what you'll see alright so right now you don't know what the you know what the hell you're looking at so let's go back and you have to push this little eye right here and it'll show you actually what it's going to look like so click on that look at it again all right so that's a cute little uh thing so now how do you edit this i'm going to show you how to do it so it looks like you can put a four letter or maybe more um title right here so what you got to do is you go down to objects this little square thing right here and it'll have all of the um, elements of this intro. Now, I'm not going to show you how to move all these elements around because that will take forever. So I leave it to the um, people that design these to actually do that. But what you can do is you can edit the name right here. So right now you see it has three name boxes in it. So I'm going to show you how to edit this one. You just click on it. Um, you change it to whatever so you can say... Oops, T U T O R I A L S. Tutorials. Now, this is a tip because it took me forever to realize this. When you type something in here uh, to get it to stick, you have to click this font right here. Don't change the font, just um, leave it in there. Now, I will say that sometimes it won't hold all of your letters. So, it, you know, you have to play around with it. Um, this one may not be able to hold this long word, but we're going to try it anyway. All right, so I got it in there three times, tutorials. Let's play it and see what it looks like. All right, so that one has tutorials. Let me take that out. Maybe a little. All right, so let's play again. All right, so super simple. So if you like what the way that that uh, looked, you can uh, go here and start render. So when you click start video render, it will download uh, your video. It's going to download it in a .mkv file. Now sometimes your um, whatever your editing software is won't accept this .mkv file and I'll show you at the end of the video how to um, change that to an mp4 so let's go to the next one uh, leave 
So that one's cool. We'll exit that one though. So let's see what this one looks like. All right, like I said earlier, you click this to see actually what it's going to look like. So then we had some cool, the only thing I'll tell you about um, intros is that they really don't need to be longer than nine seconds. But if you want yours to be however long, then and you don't really care about that, you can edit this. You click on the box, you go right here to where it says sync, that's the words in there, and you change it to whatever you want it to. What? Whatever. Click the custom, go right here, type in whatever. Uh, let me change this one to uppercase Whatever you want you just put it in there now. I will say this you need to go down here and make sure they don't have any other uh, naming or text particles because if you Have other ones then you will have to edit those as well. So let's go here and look at it again with our text Well that one will cause epilepsy so anyway, that's cool. All right, let's go to this other one. Let's see if this one looks like. All right, so this one, like I said, is gonna be, I'm not gonna go through the whole thing again because you can see right here, it does have name. Now, I was trying to see if I had one that, sometimes, let me look at this other one and see if it has that. Now, these are the newer ones. These are 2D. Um, those, those first ones that I showed you were 3D. These right here are 2D, and these are actually a little bit cleaner uh, intros. Let's look at this one. And these are cool. Uh, I, let me see if this one has. Yeah, okay, it's cool. So now you have N A M E. You have four letters. Now you have four text groups. So say, for instance, you wanted, you know, five letters. You can add stuff to this, um, but I wouldn't recommend it. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because if you do, you're gonna have to move them around, and you don't know what you're doing here. <laughs> so uh we can try it though let's try it real quick so let's duplicate this one this is e all right so now we got another e so let's say you wanted six uh six letters let's duplicate that one can I duplicate that one all right so i got another e and uh you can move it i guess There you go. Yeah. So I mean, you can move it. You can move it around and change it uh, if you would like to. You see how I'm doing that? I'm just clicking that and dragging it, moving it. So all right. So we got now we got six letters, and let's see if it animates because it may not animate. I'm not going to promise you that it's going to animate. Let's 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 just try it, just for S and Gs. All right. Let's play. Yep, so you see what I'm talking about. Well, let's move. So you can get on here and play around with the uh, the different elements and see with the movement. So the movement is going to be on these color spots. So these can be moved. And I guess you can go over here and uh, mimic the movements in the rotation. So the red is going to correlate with this. The green is going to correlate with this. The blue is going to correlate with that. And the color is going to cor correlate with that. So when you go down here in the timeline, um, we see that they move up and down and they float. So it's going to follow the duplicated layer that we have set. And it's going to move like, you know, it said. So you can see right here, the only thing that's moving is the position and the rotation. And you can go here and change that. Let's see, I don't know if it'll show you. And so you can move them. If you know anything about um, like After Effects, this right here is, is 
based on like a 3D movement. You know, you have up, down, left, right, and then you have in and out. So I wouldn't recommend going through here and, and changing them. Just go through here and find one that you like and you can edit the name. So let me show you how to, um, if I can, let me show you how to uh, convert those. So you will have to download a program and that program's name is, okay, this is the program you're gonna need it is VLC. You will have to go and download it. Just type in Google VLC Media Player and you'll find it downloaded. So you'll click on convert slash save and you will add your file. I'm not sure if I have one. I may have one, let's see, on my desktop. Uh, it does not look like I have, I just click on one of these. So no, let me click on that one. So you click on that and this will be a dot MK, whatever it was file. And you will click on convert, save. And you want to convert to whatever file. Normally I just do MP4 and you can change where you want the file to be saved to. And you click on start and it will convert it. So let me show you uh, a couple of examples of some other uh, let's see. I'm going to show you a couple of other intros. So I made this intro. So you may have seen this intro at the beginning of this video. Well, no, you didn't. I didn't get to play. So I made, I made that, um, intro with, uh, Adobe After Effects and I had to do like a stroke and and it followed a couple of things and this is the original I added some stuff to it so anyway if you want something like that uh, or something like this or uh, let's see Or something like this. Let me if you want something like either one of those uh, intros, just shoot me a comment in the comment section below and uh, tell me which one or tell me you want an advanced tutorial on how to make some cool. Um, and those have to be in several different videos because it takes a while to do. Uh, all of those in After Effects. Uh, so that's all for today, guys. I appreciate you guys for watching. Thanks.